we have a last presentation offered by Maria Leonor from Colombia too. We will yes. approach on uh, on I think that Professor Westwick gave a very good introduction about sustainable development, yes. so <laughs> I think that I'll go very fast on that and, and focus a little bit on like going beyond the traditional discourse and the definitions of sustainable development, <laughs> don't worry, uh, which is um, what I would like to do. So uh, um, this is more part, not of a final research, but of a proposal for a research that we are developing within the study project uh, that we are doing with Professor Albert. So um, my initial idea was tourism in cultural heritage sites. I didn't want to frame it to heritage, just to world heritage sites, uh, but in general to cultural heritage sites, uh, a tool for sustainable economic development and social integration in Colombia. But then I realized that maybe this shouldn't be an statement, but a question. So does it constitute, uh, constitute a tool for sustainable economic development and social integration? Perhaps yes, in some cases, and perhaps in other cases, not so, not, not really. So what is tourism in heritage sites? Maybe everyone relates it, relates it to a Moscow, an inevitable destiny, because I need to go to a world heritage site, uh, a main attraction sometimes, but it could also be a source of economic benefits, a driver for local development, a tool for community involvement and integration, which is what we uh, generally see in the discourse, like the official discourse about sustainable uh, tourism in heritage sites. Uh, and one of the issues that I started to find out, which was very similar to what uh, Professor Vestrick just mentioned, is is there a definition of sustainable tourism beyond the institutional policy or institutional framework? So we see, I found two, like, recurrent definitions, one of the United Nations World Tourism Organization, which is tourism that takes fully account of its current and future economic, social, and environmental impacts. This is like the main part of the, of the, of the definition. And then a definition given by UNESCO, which is uh, tourism that respects both the local people and the traveler, cultural heritage, and environment. But there is not even an agreement within the United Nations system of the meaning of what it should embrace. So what is sustainable tourism? We still don't know, but I think that is something that we must or that should be contextualized. So what should it comprise? According to what I saw uh, specifically on heritage sites in Colombia, is it about reducing numbers? Is it about reducing environmental impact? Is it about respecting social and cultural authenticity of local communities? Achieving community involvement and active participation because we all usually talk about community involvement because it's there. I mean, it's something that we have to deal with. But are they, are communities, local communities really participating in the whole process and taking advantage of it? And sharing the economic benefits, because I put it into brackets, because it's not only economic benefits, but it's a series of benefits that we generally link to uh, economic benefits. Is it about proposing alternative ways of presenting a site, perhaps, and identifying a connection with the local communities that goes beyond the economic benefits? Or is it about proposing an adequate interpretation? Perhaps according to the site that we are talking about, this could be changed or this could uh, yeah, be debatable. So sustainable tourism in Colombia, perhaps you could identify some of these pictures. Uh, the first one is Cartagena, this one. This is about Los Catillos, which was just listed from the World Heritage in Danger list. And this is Parque the Parque Arqueológico San Agustín and this is the coffee, the coffee cultural landscape, perhaps one of the most emblematic World Heritage sites in, in Colombia. Uh, this is the definition, like the official definition given by the main entity, the main two entities that are in charge of, in charge of uh, dealing with tourism in heritage and World Heritage site, sites, which, is, which are the Ministry of Culture and the Ministry of Trade. So what is sustainable tourism in Colombia in heritage sites? So a tourism that facilitates environmental friendly operating procedures, supports nature, conservation and protection of cultural heritage, provides social economic benefits for cultural, uh, for local populations, sorry, included, including ethnic and indigenous communities, but it's, but it's at the same time profitable for tourism business and a positive experience for tourists. So, so tourists, so it's everything basically. So we should like include everything when we talk about sustainable tourism. So are uh, there alternative approaches to it? Can we define it in a different way? 
Is tourism in certain regions already, already sustainable? So we don't need to talk about sustainable tourism because it's already there. Is tourism the main threat for the site? Or are we talking about other threats that are not related to tourism? And should tourism always be promoted as uh, an economic benefit or as an economic activity that could be linked to the sites? Perhaps yes and perhaps not. As I already mentioned, this, this is something that should be contextualized. So uh, I see it more as a challenge rather than a benefit. So perhaps it should aim to provide social and economic benefits to the people surrounding cultural and natural heritage, promote heritage protection and preservation, promote sustainable regional peace and security in some cases, uh, be profitable for the industry because it, of course you cannot link it or uh, sorry disconnect it to, uh, from the industry because it's there and it should be profitable and be positive in terms of the tourism uh, of the tourist sorry experience on uh, in heritage and her, and heritage interpretation i'm just giving a brief example just to finish perhaps one of the most well known sites uh, world heritage sites which is a cultural landscape in colombia is the coffee, coffee cultural landscape i brought up this picture because this is basically how the site is being promoted outside uh, and it has everything. Colombia Realismo Magico, which is magic realism. This perhaps you could relate it to Gabriel Garcia Marquez. This is a coffee cup, and the cultural landscape is embedded in the coffee, coffee cup. And here, would you like to enjoy the pleasures of uh, the coffee culture? So what is coffee culture? And then here, at the same time, it's saying that it's a World Heritage Site. So we are kind of promoting this uh, as uh, this is the way that we are promoting the site outside, but how are we linking it inside because it's not being really promoted. So these are some basic, uh, like this is some basic information about the site. It comprises uh, four departments and 51 municipalities. It's one of the main tourist, the tourism destinations in the country. Uh, traditional coffee production since the 19th century. A World Heritage Site since 2011. And a main destination basically of the 56 uh, a percent of the international tourism to Colombia. But what happens within the country and what happens within the region when you see the news, and this is very recent, this is from this year when you just read the news about what's happening there. Coffee cultural landscape needs appropriation. We should aim to promote a dialogue between the tourists and the local communities. Local communities should be aware of the benefits and responsibilities that come with the declaration of the region as a World Heritage Site. So perhaps we are promoting the site outside, but the work that should be done inside um, to achieve what we could call sustainable tourism is not being done. So what are the challenges? Perhaps we need to balance uh, or to find a balance uh, between the main economic interest uh, with the sustainability of the site. So how should we balance coffee production because it's part of the site itself to tourism so that not every, everything ends up being tourism or promoting sustainable tourism. How should we create a dialogue with the tourist that goes beyond the coffee culture and that understands or that tries to encompass the whole site? How do we raise awareness about the site uh, as being a heritage site? This is a work that should be done within the country and not outside because people, I, I mean, uh, generally tourists that come to the site know that, know that it's uh, a world heritage site and how to achieve real community participation that goes beyond the management plans because when, um, for example, the management plan for the cultural, coffee cultural landscape was developed, I mean, community participation is always written, but what happens when it goes to like the real implementation of the management plans? And how can we use heritage value as a tool for local and regional integration and uh, not only because it's there and we should promote it outside, but how can we just start building networks and partnerships inside to really like achieve what we could call really sustainable tourism. Thank you. <laughs>